We're firing up the barbecue with a roundup of the best and tastiest meatless options out there. And Maggie Hoffman is the digital director for Epicurious, and she joins us now. Uh, Maggie, good morning. First, uh, you say that old school veggie burgers are still in style. That's actually news to me as a non meat eater. So tell me about that. Absolutely. You know, these are sort of nostalgic for me. I love an old school garden burger piled high with onions and creamy avocado. We did a taste test of all the veggie burger options at Epicurious, and the winner was the Dr. Prager's California Veggie Burger, oh, yeah. which has really nice flavor and great texture. I'm a, I was about to bite it, but you stopped talking, so I can't bite it. What do I do? Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to ask another question, then I'm going to bite. Meatless meat burgers are all the rage. What can you tell us about them? Go, I'm going to bite. Yeah, so mm. these are plant-based burgers that are designed to mimic beef. And they're really rich and really savory, a little gamey. Uh, and the, we've learned a lot about these. We did a blind taste test on these two, and our favorite top pick was the Impossible Burger. And when you're cooking these, you really want to think crisp. So you want to make a smash burger instead of a thick pub style burger. And the more sear, the better. All right, I tasted this one too. It's really good. <laughs> I have to swallow before I can ask you this next question though. Are you All just right. taking a bite of yes. each? Yes, I'm, I'm trying everything. That's my job, that's what they pay me for. Anyway, tell us about preparing the vegetables. You put them right on the, uh, on the grill as I understand it. Show us how, how you do that. There are so many ways to cook vegetables on the grill. One of the things we love, we have a great recipe for pulled mushroom tacos on Epicurious. So what you do is you take these oyster mushrooms and pull them apart. You can put them in a grill basket and they'll get nice and smoky and crisp on the grill. They make beautiful tacos, almost like carnitas. You can also put a whole eggplant on the grill, just like this. You can put it in the coals. You don't have to wrap it or anything. And then it'll get smoky and soft. You can serve it with grilled bread. If you want to do a cauliflower, you have a couple of options. If you want to start with a whole cauliflower, which makes a really impressive presentation, start by microwaving it for a few minutes so that it gets tender before you put it on the grill. Then it'll look like this when you're all done. And if you want to cut it into wedges, it'll cook a little bit faster, and then it'll get evenly charred on all sides. Maggie, I think you're great. These are incredible ideas, and I, I love the cauliflower. Wit told me it looked like a brain on a plate, so I don't know. But you but can't one take... one that you want to eat. Yeah, I do want to eat this brain. I, I'm like a zombie for cauliflower. Um, uh, Maggie, thank you again. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for putting up with all of our nonsense. You can get all of these recipes on our website, goodmorningamerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.